Yeah, uh, James, first game back, obviously. Can you just walk us through a little bit of your emotions, what it was like being back out there with your teammates tonight? Well, it's been my teammates and, and the staff, really, that, that's kept me positive throughout this game, uh, throughout this whole process, the whole injury process. Um, so, like, going out there and performing the way I perform, that's all of my teammates. Um, they, they kept me positive. They kept me ready. And they just told me how good I was and uh, to go out there and just play my game. And I'm going to play it. And I played the way I did. So that, that's all of my teammates. I thank my teammates for that and my coaches. Tom? Yeah, James, I know when, when you made the decision to come back this year, you had unfinished business. Uh, now you come back with five games to go. You have a, a small window to kind of finish that business. What do, What's your mindset? What's your level of focus? What's What's your approach to this last month? And has it changed since the one you had at the beginning of the season? No, the, the the approach is still the same, and, and we hope we play. We we end up playing more than five games. So the, the goal is still to make the tournament, and and with the team we have right now, everyone healthy, we feel like we can make a run in that tournament confidently. Jeff, yeah, uh, James, I was wondering what your expectations of yourself were tonight. How many minutes you thought you might play, and uh, I guess you just told. Uh, uh, Andre, the hold my Gatorade. I'll I'll do the same thing you did the other night <laughs> with that dunk. But uh, <laughs> well, I was just wondering what your expectation of yourself was and and how it went. Um, the expectation for myself was to just go out there and play play my game, let the game come to me, and not force anything. Um, I I just went out there solely with the the. Uh, I just went out there to, to try to help the team win. Um, I, I just wanted to win the game, and, and I just went up there and just did a little extra. Anybody else, Dave? Hey, uh, how did it feel for you out there? Uh, obviously, a strong first half. Um, and how does it feel to have James back and kind of have, uh, you know, pretty much a healthy team right now? Um, it's good right now to have him back. I mean, we're a deep team, and when we got everybody healthy, we're one of the best teams in this league. But him coming back today, I think it benefited my strong half because the floor opened up a lot. So that's that's good. I like when he's out there because everybody focuses on him, so everybody else just is, gets to play basketball. <laughs> Gabby? Hey, guys. I'll let whoever wants to take this or both of you take it. Um what was that like at the end of the game? Y'all started to run off the court. Coach called you back and, you know, he had some words. Um, what did he say to you? What was that moment like? He basically grabbed us and got us hype again, basically told us that's how UConn basketball is played. We're not losing here no more. And he just got amped up, like something he would do, like if the crowd was there or something. But he made that feeling back, like if there was fans here and I was good, I feel like – that's, we were we feel confident going into this next game, definitely after these last two games performances we had. Dom? James, uh, how frustrating was it for you during that period where, at least as, as Coach had mentioned, you really wanted to come back. You were trying to, to push to come back, and, and you weren't getting the clearance. Uh, you know, how difficult was that for you to go through that process until you finally did get the clearance to come back? Oh, it was it was very frustrating. Um, having to sit, like, sit on the bench and, like, knowing that there, there's, like, really not much I could do to help the team win. It's, it's like, that's, like, the worst feeling. Like, when, when, when you just sit in there and your team is down or losing a game and, and you just feel like there's nothing you could do to help the team. So... Just get, being able to go out there and play with like with my brothers again, I, I just like try to enjoy every moment of it, like every second on the court. Mike Maradakis. Uh this is for either one of you, but uh coach said after the game that you guys had really wanted to win this since it was the the one year anniversary of a cook's injury. Uh what was that uh like for you guys? Uh, we basically, we knew what it was for Cook. He put in a lot of work in 
in the off season during the whole COVID pandemic. And he's actually made it back and playing on the court before he was anybody thought he would be. So going out here, we know like there was a lot of like we had a lot of respect for Cook. Knowing today was the one year since the injury, and I feel like he's been giving his all every day. Like last last game, he showed what he could do still, and I just feel like he still has more to go. Charlotte, hey James, how are you feeling now? And then also, kind of two part, how were you feeling when you first went to the bench uh, after playing those initial five minutes and, and just getting back onto the court for the first time? <laughs> the, um. When I first got out the game, like when I got in and then got subbed out, uh, I, I was a little gassed. That that was like my main concern. Like I was gassed. Um, yeah, I was gassed. <laughs> but but right now I feel good. Um, like like I said before, just being back out there with my teammates. That's like that's that's the best feeling. That was the, the high of my day today. Just being able to go back out there and just be with them on the floor. Like battle with them, go to war with them. That that was the best part of my day. Jeff, did you have another one? Yeah, uh, if I could just ask, ask a little bit more on the injury front there, James, just to uh, settle it for once and for all. The TV said you fractured your elbow, and and coach had said earlier that bone spurs were removed. Can you tell? Can you tell what what did the surgery uh, compose of? Um. I had a bone spur removed and a cleanup. Okay. And the other thing on the, uh, when you bang legs with the big guy there, that was six minutes ago and you came back, what was, what was that? And you okay? And fine. Perfect. Okay. I feel good.